Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome along to this channel. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now, in today's brief Shopify tutorial, I'm going to share how you can connect your Shopify store to Meta so that you can sell your products through Facebook and other Meta channels. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and connect your Shopify store to Meta. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and connect our Shopify store with Meta. This means that we can connect our Instagram business account as well as our Facebook business page directly with our Shopify store, meaning we can sell through both these platforms and more. Okay, so to do this, simply navigate up to sales channel and then type in Facebook at the top. Then come down and click here. And that's going to take us to the Shopify app store. Then navigate down and locate Facebook and Instagram and click on this app here. You will see that this app is developed by Meta. This is the correct app that we want to install with Shopify. So go ahead and click on add app and then click on add sales channel. And this is exactly what we want to do. We want to start selling our products on Facebook and Instagram using the shop feature on both these platforms. So come down and click on start setup. Then navigate up to connect account. This is where we first need to connect our personal account. Go ahead and click on connect account. This is my personal account that's associated with my Facebook business page and my Instagram business account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue and then confirm account. And here we want to allow Facebook to share business assets with Shopify. Come down, click allow. Then once you've successfully connected your Facebook account, simply navigate down to business assets. This is where we want to connect our Meta business account. This is the Meta business account that's associated with our assets that we want to connect to Shopify. For example, as you can see, we have our Instagram account here and our Facebook page here. So these are the two assets that I want to connect with Shopify. I'm simply going to click on both those assets and then navigate over to connect. Now, if you currently do not have a Facebook business page or a Instagram business account for your brand, and you're not too sure how to connect the two together, then what I'll do is add a few tutorials up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of how to set up each of these accounts. And again, if you're not too sure how to get started with Meta, if you're completely unfamiliar with the Meta business account, then again, I'll add a tutorial down below that will help you set up your account. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect these two channels. Then here, choose your preference. I'm going to keep enhanced selected. This is all about the Facebook pixel, advanced matching and conversions API. So what you want to do is essentially install the Facebook pixel onto your Shopify store. And this is going to allow you to measure and manage the performance of your campaigns. If you're running campaigns on both Facebook and Instagram. Again, if you're interested in learning how to install the Facebook pixel onto your Shopify store, I will add that tutorial in the description below. Okay, so for now, I'm going to navigate down and click on save. Okay, now here, this app is going to ask if you want to connect an existing pixel or do you want to create a new one? I'm going to go ahead and create a new pixel and then come down and click on confirm. Then navigate over to I agree with Facebook's terms and conditions, then click on submit for review. And just like that, we've completed setting up our shop. Now we just need to wait for the reviewing process. I'm going to go ahead and click on done. And as you can see, currently under review is checking your shop info. Okay, so what we're going to do while that is happening is navigate down to shop on Facebook and shop on Instagram. What we're going to do is actually customize our shop. To do that, simply go ahead and click on customize shop under shop on Facebook. And this is where we can view and further customize our Facebook shop as well as our Instagram shop. So if we navigate up to the top, you can see that we have Instagram selected. This is our one product that we've added. This is what the product will look like on our Instagram shop. If I navigate up to Instagram and click on Facebook, you can see we have these products here. Again, I'm going to navigate back over to Instagram and then click on preview. And as you can see, this is what potential customers will see if they're using the Instagram app on their phone. Then if we navigate over to Facebook, let's see what Facebook will look like. And this is what a potential customer will see on our Facebook business page if they view a product in our Facebook shop. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to navigate up to close. 
Then navigate over to the left hand side. This is where we can further customize our Facebook and Instagram shop. Now it's recommended that you keep optimized layout turned on. This is going to display your shop, the layout of your shop differently depending on the type of person that is viewing your shop, viewing your products. So at the moment we have home page selected. This is what our home page will look like. And again, we can customize that if we like. We can go ahead and click add new. We can create a collection for our homepage. We can add a product and we can also create an offer for our homepage if we like. If we navigate down, you can see that we have the banner below that. We have carousel and we have these other options to essentially just customize the layout of our shop. Now, if we navigate back up to homepage, you can see that that is our homepage collection. We can also manage collections if we have multiple collections that we've created for our Facebook and Instagram shop. Then we also have settings over on the right hand side. We can come down and we can see the visibility. You can manage where customers see your shop products and collections. You can see these are hidden at the moment because our products, our store is still in review. Then if we navigate down to inventory, you can choose which products appear in your catalog. You can manage this here. Then below that we have tagged content. And again, this is going to be turned on by default. We want to keep this on. This just basically allows our photos, our photos across Facebook and Instagram that are associated with our shop, they can be tagged. And this is what our photos, tagged photos will look like. You can see that this is a product up here. This is a product down here. It is currently tagged by this product snake plant is tagged and fiddle leaf fig is tagged then you can see those items down here that a potential customer can click on and purchase then once you've made any changes simply navigate down and click on save or update and publish when you're ready to publish those changes okay so what i'm going to do is navigate back to our shopify store and just like that your products are now organically listed on the facebook shop and the instagram shop for potential customers to purchase your products from those two different channels you can also start engaging in paid ads across facebook and instagram if you're interested in learning how to create and launch paid ads on facebook and instagram what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the step-by-step -step process from start to finish of how to create paid ads for Facebook and Instagram. So go ahead and check out that tutorial if you're interested. However, that is it for this beginner's tutorial. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Meta and Shopify tutorial. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that out the way, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.